still can't believe that this is our April. Like May is coming up pretty quick, right? The weather knows that, right? Like it's almost May. <laughs> that is what it is. This will be one to remember, though. Next time we say, oh, it's so cold in March. Like, huh? Remember the spring of 2022? Don't complain. Could be worse. That is Monday. I work today and tomorrow, Wednesday. Early morning, I board a flight going to Toronto, the center of the world. If you ask anyone in Toronto. Truck World starts on Wednesday. This video you'll probably see after Truck World already, but you've probably seen a lot of footage and, and clips and stuff from Truck World because I'm going to share them like right away, instantly while I'm there. Uh, so you guys have probably seen and heard all about it, so I won't go too much more into it here. I'm sure it was a lot of fun future Josh I'm sure is very happy uh, for me this Josh past Josh for you I haven't been there yet it's gonna be a lot of fun though so Monday today I have a meeting about truck world at work just to confirm you know flight details our plan while we're there eh, whatever else they want to confirm and talk about just to make sure everybody's on the same page before we go tomorrow's a full work day and then I go to bed early and then I have to leave my house at like 4.30 in the morning on Wednesday morning because my flight departs Winnipeg 7.20 in the morning, which means I've got to be there probably close to, I've got a plan to be there for like 5.30 in the morning. And that's an hour and a bit drive from here. Hour and a half, 5, 3, 4. I've got to leave the house at like 4 in the morning. But that's okay. That's okay. I can do early mornings if it's for a good cause. Truck World is a good cause. So I'm leaving Winnipeg at 7.20 and I'm getting to Toronto I think uh, around 10 o'clock Toronto time. It's a direct flight from Winnipeg to Toronto. Because Toronto is the center of the universe, everything is a direct flight when you're going to Toronto. No layovers going to Toronto. You gotta get to the center of the world now. You're not gonna stop over anywhere else. Where else would you stop over? Where else is more important than Toronto? It's kind of a Canadian inside joke. Just bugging them a little bit. Toronto is our biggest city in the country. It's sort of uh, comparable. Now, I'm going to boost their ego here a little bit. Toronto would be comparable to New York City in the U.S. It's the economic hub. It's the all the market hub and everything. All right, but don't go blowing up their heads too big because they already think they're New York. <laughs> okay, I'll stop bugging you, Toronto people. We love you. We love you. I'm just from Manitoba, and maybe I'm just a little sore that they forget that we even exist 95% of the time. Yeah. The only time they acknowledge our existence is when our Winnipeg Jets beat their Toronto Maple Leafs. <laughs> I've got to unload three cars out of this trailer and put them on another trailer and take them into Winnipeg. Got an Audi, we got a Lexus, and we got another Lexus. No, a Toyota. Audi, a Toyota, and a Lexus in here. We gotta get these guys out of here and uh, onto another trailer that will take them to their final destination. Yeah, the trailer is a step deck with ramps off the back, so you can drive them right off the back. Here, with these trailers, we have to use these docks. And we're not able to deliver it in this trailer. There we go. Two vehicles. The third one I'm going to deliver separately on a separate second trip. So it'll take two trips to deliver these. Nice vehicles though. The weather's warming up at least, but I regret to inform you that more snow is on the way. We'll see if it gets here or not, but it's all gonna happen while I'm in Toronto, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, finally I get to escape a Manitoba blizzard. You know, I used to escape all of them. I used to hardly ever see winter. When I was on the highway, I'd be I'd spend most of my winters like down in Georgia and out in southern Ontario. They, southern Ontario, they think they get winter. That's not winter. 
Oh, I've been there. That's nice. All right. Got to unload these here somewhere yet. I'm just sort of off to the side over here. I think I should be able to unload them here. So apparently, this place where I'm bringing these cars to, there's nobody here. It's Easter Monday when I'm filming this. Apparently they get Easter Monday off. I guess I'm not delivering these cars. I called into dispatch and I'm like, hey, these people aren't working today. What's going on? They're like, I don't know. Well, I guess bring them back. I guess I'm going to bring these back to the yard. This guy's going to want to cut in front of me yet, isn't he? How much you want to bet he's about to lane dive, Mr. Yaris? You go for it, go for it. No, he's not even going to do it. Wow, my faith in humanity is restored. Oh, yes. Well, I guess we didn't expect them not to be working on Monday. Do you guys have to work on Easter Monday? I think it's more of an American thing, right? The, the Americans, they don't... They work Good Friday, but they don't work Easter Monday, whereas Canadians in general don't work Good Friday, but they work Easter Monday. Am I wrong? I don't know. What do I know? Back we go. I need to grab some fuel, too. My fuel is uh, starting to look pretty low there. One of the things about hauling cars on an open deck behind you is every now and then I glance over at my mirror and I go, huh? <laughs> it looks like there's two cars like tailgating each other, tailgating me, like right behind me. You know, sometimes I'm just listening to my music, doing my own thing and forget that I'm pulling cars. It freaks the daylights out of me. Oh boy. you run mr. goose there's another guy standing right there jaywalking crazy cobra chickens they're nuts they'll attack you if you don't know why we joke around about them go up uh, go up onto YouTube there once you're done with my video and Google Canada goose attacks and get ready to laugh it's hilarious. They are vicious, violent little devils. And we call them cobra chickens. They alone can defend our entire country. Just send a flock of those after our enemies. I think we're clear. Ah, oh, there comes somebody. Send it. on the please don't hit me flashers get over into the right lane remind myself that I'm not being tailgated I'm just hauling cars and we're off leave a little bit of coal there behind me just so people know where I've been This engine in this truck needs a rebuild pretty bad. But as long as she's still running, still good to go. I don't know what they want to do with this truck. These old peats are solid. This is a good truck though. It just needs someone to take care of it. And that's what I'm trying to do right now. I'm gonna get her to new steering wheel eventually. I'm one piece at a time, right? She still runs. 
I mean, if I bought a new steering wheel for it, I would just keep this one. And then if I was ever put into a different truck, I would just put this steering wheel back in it and take mine with me, right? But. I know you guys are watching these videos after Truck World's already happened and you're itching for some footage from the show. I'm already back uh, and I just wanted to say uh, I've been trying to get these vlogs out sooner. This last weekend at Truck World was awesome. I just wanted to tell you thank you to all of you who came out and uh, said hi to me and hung out and chatted for a while and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the show. I know I did. It was a lot bigger than I was expecting and uh, I would write it off as a, a great success for us on our end. It was it was really good. So we're hoping to do another one like this soon and more show and shines and stuff like that as well in the future. Uh, a lot of you who were at the show there and talked with me there for a while know what my plans are for the future. I'm hoping to be at a lot more of these events coming up and we'll talk about that as the they get closer. But those uh, Truck World videos that are coming down the line here a little bit later this week for you. I just, I didn't have time to do anything while I was there. It was literally from the time I got up till like one or two in the morning. It's just go, go, go. So I'm trying to catch up with everything here now. Yeah, it's Sunday uh, when I'm editing this. So you're going to see this tomorrow on Monday. And uh, I still have to put them all together. <laughs> uh, but I got to do some catch up. So this week will be busy again because I've got to go to work uh, and then come home and try to catch up because I got Tuesday's video yet and then Wednesday is when we left and got on the plane and then Thursday Friday Saturday we're at Truck World yeah, so they'll come out in sequence like that throughout this week here I hope you enjoy them I hope you stick around if you haven't already hit that subscribe button hit the like button and uh, thanks for hanging out we'll see you in tomorrow's video